Hello everyone, welcome back to another video, and we are going to be doing just a little short test on the Tab S7. So, you might have seen my Tab S5e video on how many, um, like, FPS it has in the quality, and there's a little secret in there I added to. But today we're on the Tab S7, not the Plus, just the normal Tab S7. And you can see in the settings it can go up to 90 FPS and epic quality, but on epic it has to go 60. Now for you, it won't be on this. It'll just be on all of this, all to up, up to epic, but you'll only probably have 20 all the way up to 60. Now, the way you do the little secret is in my other videos, just near the end. Um, but you can go check that little video. It has the little secret in there. But without doing that, you can't get 90 FPS. Now, I would usually keep it on low, but the game actually looks really good. You can see in the lobby, it looks good. Now, we're going to go into a match and see how it is, and time how long it takes to go in a match. Okay, so that took around 13 seconds on my stopwatch I have. Um, but I'll just... You can see it doesn't look the best on low quality mode, but the 3D resolution is on max, and you can see the FPS in the top corner is dipping down quite a lot. But this the, this device does get quite hot quite quickly, so that's one of the bad features, to be honest. But it's fine. It has a really good processor. I I think it's like a non 888 plus that that's the tab s7 plus but i'm not sure it just has a really good processor and you can see right now the fps is going over 90 and sometimes if you're lucky it can go to 100 um but yeah you can see the fps is doing really good and it's extremely smooth but you'll only be watching this video in 60 fps but as you can see just you can see the particles are all doing fine and it looks really smooth Dallas land you can see the propellers on there and the little water droplets are actually handling really good but the FPS is going down to 60 when you put it in the camera so necessarily it's not the best with particles but it's good because it has 90 FPS now the tab s7 plus I'm pretty sure can't do 120 FPS but we don't have that to test it it'll, it'll probably only go up to 90 fps now you can see all the shooting and everything is pretty good and that aim with just a little pistol is actually very very good just because of the frame rate and here's the thing you can only get 120 fps on mobile on ipad pros and i have heard as i said you could do it on the tab s7 plus but you can't it'll probably be on the tab s8 or something now you can see everything's doing pretty well. The cape, like all the little things inside, is doing pretty well. But the FPS is dipping quite a lot, but staying mostly around 90. Just went to 100. But yeah, that's basically it. So, yeah, the FPS is pretty good. And now you'll just be watching a little bit of gameplay in 90 FPS. Okay. Now, we will see how the FPS is going to do on epic quality, 100 3D resolution, but it's only 60 FPS. Now, here's the thing with the Tab S7 and even most devices, it doesn't just stay at maximum 60, it does go a bit higher, like, for this device, maximum I'll say 67 or something, when you're on 60 FPS. But it is pretty good, even on my Tab S5e that I have, it could go up to 31 FPS. But let's see how long this takes. Alright, that took about 11 seconds, and it can get better, but you can see all the shadows 
are looking pretty good. But the FPS is doing okay. Just take a close up of the tree. So you can see the tree looks really nice, but it is a bit blurry. But you just gotta wait and then it looks pretty nice. Not as good as a PC, but it looks good. As every feature just loads in, you can see it looks even better and better. Even the fish, the skin of the fish looks really good. And look at the sun, for example. It just the shadows and everything look really good. But it doesn't have a lens flare or anything, but this is just a game. It's just Fortnite, so you wouldn't expect that from it. Now the FPS is doing okay. As you can see, it's going up to 70. But right now it's dipping quite a lot to 40-ish, 30, staying on 50-ish. So not doing the best, especially in some intense moments. But it does okay. And to be honest, with the price point of the Tab S7 right now, it's around £649 or something, I forgot. But, yeah, it's not the best. But the price is pretty good, actually. Um, and if you have enough money, I would buy this device. But if you don't, then I'll get the Tab S6, personally, for myself. Um, but, yeah, now here's a little gameplay of the Tab S7 in 60fps mode epic quality. Now you can see, um, you can use a controller with it, and the controller lag is actually pretty much non-existent, because the lag is really not that bad, but it looks really good, and you can use a controller, and I've heard people trying to use keyboard and mouse, but if you try to, then it won't really work. Anyways, thank you for watching the video today, remember, like and subscribe. And this video was originally made by another YouTuber, my friend, called GameStuff. Remember, subscribe to his channel. I'll put a link to this video on his channel. And see you guys later. Bye.